Gainesville community may have a new way to reduce drunk driving in the city. Sasha Cordner has the story on how one organization is working to provide the public a safer way to get home. Everybody likes to have a good time, but a good time comes with the responsibility of making good decisions. One student organization, Nightlife Navigators, is creating a service to help students do just that. Nightlife Navigators Director Tyler Paramore believes this service will help eliminate accidents like the death of Lieutenant Corey Dollum, who was killed by a drunk driver last year. The online service will tell when and where transportation will be available when leaving the downtown area. Uh, one of the things we've been working with the city commission on is our uh, cab hub. To set up um, uh, a cab hub in popular downtown and the midtown location, such that if you want a cab, uh, you can just go there and, and have one instead of having to call the number, wait around. And the group is already making progress. In the last week alone, the organization's website received more than 1,000 hits. Gainesville Police Department spokeswoman Summer Hallett says she commends these students and has already started working with the group. We are trying to work in conjunction with them and support them in any way that we can. Um, the thing about Lieutenant Dawn's death is that it was 100%, as well as any other DUI crash, it is absolutely 100% preventable. The traffic loss of Lieutenant Corey Dollum happened here on the corner of Northwest 17th Street and University Avenue. And with the help of student organizations like Nightlight Navigators, we can hopefully help stop senseless acts like this from happening again. Sasha Cordner, WFT News. Nightlife Navigators is working with transportation services like RTS bus services, volunteer taxi service, Gator Rides, and Later Gator. There will be a memorial for Lieutenant Corey Gollum at 10.30 p.m.